Hey guys, alright, so today I'm just gonna do a Project M netplay tutorial because Project M 3.0 just dropped the other day and a lot of people, well I just think this is a beneficial thing to do because a lot of people, I get to play more people, more people learn how to set up netplay for Project M and um, a lot of people have been asking on the IRC chat on Dolphin where Play melee net play. So this is not a tutorial for how to set up uh, Project M on Dolphin and just to play. This is a tutorial to set up net play. So this is a this is the next step afterwards. So if you want to learn how to how to do um, uh, Project M on Dolphin already, um, I can probably leave a just a link in the description for for that learn but this is a the, the next step so this is like you already you already have dolphin right here blah 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 you can already play you can already see right there you can already play uh project M. So, all right so first things that you're gonna need to set up project m net play are obviously a good pc because yeah well, it depends on the setting you use anyway you're gonna want to download these files okay well no, no, no two files this is these two files so i'll leave the links for both of those in the description um, this is the homebrew wi-fi again this only this only works uh, not again but this only works with homebrew wi-fi version the full uh, the full set wi-fi or not the full set the homebrew wi-fi version because uh wi-fi safe because for some reason the full set, the one where you can stage strike, stage ban, and light press L and R, will not will just constantly desync. So you're gonna want to play with this if you want that play. You're gonna download this, which is the 3.0 Project M, and you're gonna want the ISO builder. So basically, what we're gonna be doing here today is we're going to you can't select Project M for Netplay as a game because Project M isn't a game yet. Like it's not part of Brawl, so you're gonna build it into an ISO into its own game. So when you go to select Brawl, it's gonna be Project M, but it's gonna be a different. So you're gonna want a copy of Brawl, obviously. This is for Netplay, not for already playing the game. Um, here you're gonna want. After downloading those two files, I'll let you guys do that. Um, you're gonna want to here. You're gonna wanna create. See, this is my Dolphins games folder. You're gonna wanna move. Well, I don't know if you wanna back up a brawl um, or not, just in case something goes wrong. I mean, yeah, but you're gonna want a folder where you're gonna be doing all your work. Space for that. Uh, I have brawl in here. An extra brawl ISO. Can't tell you where to get the ISOs if you already should already have it for this though. But um you're gonna want brawl there. And you're gonna wanna move everything from Project M, the ISO builder over there. You wanna just extract it. So it takes no time at all. One step done, and you're gonna wanna do the same for the full set Wi-Fi. Or the the Wi-Fi safe version of Project M. You're gonna move that over. After that's done, close this, close that. Now you're gonna have, oh, you're gonna have everything in here, in this folder, tutorial project. Yeah, that's what I named it. Okay, this is the most detrimental step that people will like. So we like, they'll just desync. Like if you don't, if you do not do this next step, then you will half the time when you start a game on netplay you will be on the opposite side of the map with the person like let's say you start on the left side of battlefield on the your friend starts on the right side on top of the platform you'll be swapped when you're playing and you'll just air dodge off into the other side another person's screen and you'll think that they just sd'd but they didn't SD immediately so this rsbe01 dt folder this is from the 
ISO builders, you don't you don't want that one. Delete it or move it, whatever you can create a copy, you don't actually need it, so you can create a copy. But you don't actually need it. Delete it. I'm gonna go into codes, which should be here from the the um the Wi-Fi save project M. You're gonna wanna move that. Okay, yeah, you're gonna wanna copy that. Move it over here to the root right here. So it's literally the same file, but that that GCT file is a key part into desyncing. And we will you probably we will not desync after this. Well, you can if there's other settings you can change, but you need this because if you don't select this one, then when you there's no then when you go to play project M you can actually still stage strike to use the other GCT file and it wouldn't actually be the, the Wi-Fi safe version so there's a chance for desync. So after that's done, set, um, you can go ahead and run the, the build ISO. That's all you need to do. So there's a step-by-step -step thing right here. Here, I'll make this a little bigger. So this is really easy. I'm just gonna do it with you guys. Um, so yeah, press any key, go forward. Now SS uh, Super Smash Bros. Brawl mod select Project M, Brawl minus, Brawl plus, Balance Brawl. If you want Project M, so you're gonna hit Test Revolution, but that's you don't. That's not it. You don't need that. Enter number one. Hit one. Enter. Select ISO format. Super Smash. One for ISO because you're creating an ISO, not the other one. Hit one, enter. Okay, this is another thing. You have to make sure you hit two here because you want to make a new save for your custom uh, ISO. You don't want to use the same as your Brawl save because when you select Netplay, you'll never be saving. You don't need a save file for Project M because it starts with every character. And if you have a save file of any kind or any customized settings, then you will desync. This isn't as optimized as Melee Netplay where you can just start at the character select screen with four stocks, time limit, and items off already. So there's some work that you gotta do in order to be playing Netplay online. So, so hit two, enter, make sure you hit that. Kinda going slow here, but it, Sorry about that, I just want to make sure. Custom banner, um, I put an image in the banners thing right here, but it still didn't work. It doesn't matter, honestly. It's just when you select your game, there's a banner, like right here. See, there's no banner here. It honestly doesn't matter unless you're like, CD or something, I don't know. Um, so, any, press any other button, any other thing other than one. I didn't hit one, I hit L there. I should have hit, that looked like one, but I hit L. That was the no. Review your settings. Select it as speed mod. Okay, make sure this is the same as mine when you're doing, if you're doing this at the same time as me. Project M, ISO. Select custom, KSBX custom, and then no. Enter number, one for yes. Enter. Okay. So it's going to go ahead and do all of this crap. This is going to take roughly six minutes, I believe. Uh, depends on your computer or something. I'm not sure. Um, it says ETA two minutes. Yeah, but uh, there's a bunch of other steps that go on. So I'm going to go ahead and skip forward. And I'll show you my, uh, my ISO after I'm done. So yeah, actually I've already done all this, so I'm just going to stop it. Okay, so what happened afterwards is all your stuff will be here, but another ISO and image like this will appear. I already have done all this. That's exactly what I did. I didn't do anything else differently. All I did was afterwards I had my game here. I just moved it into my Dolphins games. Section, and it looks exactly like this. Project M, 
RSBE PM underscore KSAT. That's what it should look like. And then when you open your dolphin, uh, do uh, in that play. Okay. So when you open your dolphin, you refresh, and it should be in there wherever you keep your dolphin games. Um. Okay. So first thing you're gonna want to do in order to not desync. Or when you open the game, whichever. Before you play, you always want to check. You open your Wii save folder here. Make sure there's no saves here. Oh, I just got an IRC. Yeah, okay, I'll leave that for later. Um, you want to make sure, make sure there's nothing in here. At all. So, there'll be like a bunch of like pylons icons with saves. You're going to delete everything in this folder. What was it? Uh, I also deleted everything in uh, basically everything in here, all the content, just to make sure there's no saves that could, like this comes back, but this, I don't think this actually matters, but you can actually just, boom, delete that. Every time you see anything, it just helps. I don't think you need to delete that folder, but it doesn't actually do anything. So there's that. There's the, okay. So after you do that, make sure you have no saves. Another thing that I add took me a couple of hours to figure like figure this out. Well, not really a couple of hours, like 20 minutes. I don't know why I said that. You're gonna go to Dolphin, config, go to Wii. You don't want insert SD card check. I repeat, you do not want to check. I had it checked because I was um I was just playing by myself without with my SD card in because I had different skins for um I had that sexy black Marth and um, other Toon Link skins and whatnot um, and voices and whatever so you do not want that checked another thing because if you have that checked you will desync like I said about the starting on the opposite side of your partner or the guy you're, you're playing so that should not be checked so that's it pretty much for the tutorial um, after that, it should work. You just, I'm assuming you already know how to do netplay and all that. Mainly for, um, for dolphin melee net players already. So, you want to do that. Um, so it's its own game now, finally. Uh, host netplay game, you copy this, you give it to whatever, you guys know that. Just to show you guys that this does work, I don't know if this will record properly with Camtasia, but... I don't know how loud this will be. Start the game up and it just starts as a real game. No Gecko OS launcher or any of that. So create it. another thing. Actually, this is good that I do this. If you can see this. Create a new save file for No. Continue without saving. Every time. Sorry, this is kind of loud. I'll turn that down. It's already at 8. Okay. Um. So you start it. Everything is going to say new. I don't know if you can hear me. But you're gonna have to turn off items and you're good to go. But you're gonna have no names and yeah, that doesn't really matter. Yes, so you do that and it should work without desyncing. So that's about it. Um, make sure you follow all the steps and you should get it working in no, no time at all, really. So um, yeah. Um, if this guy if this tutorial helped you guys out uh comment rate like subscribe all that shit and uh if there's anything specifically or you don't know what to do in um do with whatever i can speak english you can just leave a comment and um ask a question and i can try to help you out with it but i hope more people will play pm net play because i can actually play link in it not just shined. Okay, so thanks for watching and uh yeah, see ya. Good luck.